So we're here at the uh, Rock Chip at CES 2013. So you have some news here. Oh yes, uh, we launched the new core core chips for the RK3188. It's a 28 nanometer high K metal gate process. So here you can see the PDB board and the core core A9 with the core core Mali 400. And so the speed can go as high as like maybe from 1.8 gigahertz gigahertz to 2 gigahertz. So what kind of work did it take to make this work? Uh, yeah, it take a lot of research and uh, we are among the first few uh, actual products for the high metal gate uh, process. Uh, so, you know, the 28 nanometer, the leakage is getting higher, but because using the high metal gate, um, we can do like the performance is getting higher, but you get a lower power consumption and a lower uh, cost, of course. Mm -hmm. Lower cost too? Yeah. So, yeah. so what is this board that you're showing here? What is that? Uh, so that's our, we call the SDK board. And so basically we use it to develop our software and to do the prototyping. Mm. So where's the uh, rock chip? Uh, where, where on the board? It's a big, big one. It's actually yeah. That's the that's the 3188. Yeah. So 28 nanometer. Yeah. And uh, does that mean that you have space for many different things in there? Some new features? Uh, of course. The first is the core core. The A9 core core. It's not like uh, those smaller cores. You know, you know, some people using like uh, the A5 or A7, and uh, you know, they actually not uh, as apple to apple to, to compare to A9. And we also, of course, have the, the video, all the 1080p stuff, uh, encoding and decoder. Uh, and we also supporting the four, uh, 4G connection. We have the built-in uh, connectivity for the 4G, uh, so you can connect to the 4G solution quite easily. Um, so roughly, that's the, uh, I think in the coming months, you can see more and more products using this chip. But you're not the, doing the modem, no? Uh, not yet. Not, not yet. yet. Not yet. Uh, so, how can you compare the price with the competitor doing A7, for example, quad core? What is the price difference? Uh, we trying to pass our whatever we get to our end customers. So uh, basically, we offer better thing and better performance to price ratio. I will not say the final product, but definitely you get bargains and you get uh, uh, the performance you really deserve. Yeah. Is it higher performance than uh, Exynos 4, 4412? Uh, it's about maybe, uh, I think it's like 20 to 30% higher than the, I say, Tegra 3, but uh, similar to the uh, access, uh, you know, basically whatever, if you see, Every new chip, or I was doing the same chip. Yeah. This actually not like four four one two, right? But it's thirty two nanometers. No? Yeah, that's twenty eight. Yeah. So is that's better than thirty two or? Uh, twenty eight is better, but uh, no, this is the bulk process, and they are using the SOI. So uh, I think similar, similar. The performance, right? Nice. Yep. So this is going to be all over the market. Uh, right, right. How, I, I, how soon? I think maybe in March you will see quite a few products on the on the market. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, what are you showing over here? Over here, we just showing our uh, several um, tablets, uh, various tablets, you know, different size, right? Dual core. Uh, yeah, this one is on a very thin, like eight-inch one. It's like if you look at the, uh, uh, it's like it's under nine millimeters. And here, just showing the actually passing the GMS model. So you'll yeah. see, of course, you're familiar with this, this one, course, the Argos yeah. one, right? And here, the, with the connectivity, like with 3G and phones, and, and actually, we here we got like uh, the tablet with two SIM card inside. They can make a phone call. How do you do that? Is it a Huawei modem or? No, this actually we it's for two and a half G one. So it's actually GSM, a GPRS, so you got dual SIM card. Well, who is making the modem? The modem we actually using the uh, Spectrum. 
stretch marks. Mm. Uh, right, right. That's like uh, on uh, this one. It's also with uh, yeah. You can put same car here. The can recording car. Uh, and so familiar with this one. It's a TCL and and that's of course uh, Huawei. So Huawei. Right, right. It's a media tab line. All right, and uh, uh, this Arcos one uh, with the keyboard. <laughs> Arcos, and uh, so can you say something about the market? Uh, uh, how big is it for you? Uh, I think the, the the Android tablet market is really growing fast. Uh, last, I think in 2012, the totally for the Vibrant there's like over 50 million, but this year on the 2013 we see just a, a, another explosive growth. And you know, just for the white brand one, we see it over a hundred million uh, units. So definitely this year, we see the tablet will cross the, the number of the tablet will cross the notebook. Cross the notebook in 2013. Yeah, definitely, it's happening. And 50 million in 2012. Yeah, just for the that's mean. I mean, made in the Shenzhen, you know, the Shenzhen. white brand, not Shenzhen not, stuff. Right, right. And so, how big part of that is Rockchip? Uh, we have quite a huge chunk. <laughs> huge chunk? Yeah, 20 million around. 20 million, 2012? Yeah. yeah. And you expect double next uh, year? Yeah, double this year. This year? Yeah. All right, this is really cool. And uh, it's not only in China, it's, it's many all countries. over the world. You know, in the Egypt, Egypt like uh, Brazil, Russia, you know, Thailand. All over the world, I think. Uh, no, we see a lot. No, for the, I think for the developing country, it's a, like the first uh, computing device for the poor people. Nice. Are you doing Miracast solutions? Uh, it's yeah. Going to be included for free in all the. Devices? Yeah, we actually not just the, the tablet. We also have the dongle and. Uh, uh, we call the TV box. It's actually you can share between the screen. So here we have a demo that's using the RK366. It's a, you see a dongle you can put yeah. in your pocket, but you can connect to TV or um, like a mini PC. So here is a pretty, uh, probably you're familiar with this uh, phone. Nexus? Yeah, Nexus 4, that's with the 4.2, four. 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 mirror caster inside. So here we can demo. Let's take a maybe. It's already there? Not yet. So it's connecting it's the conference. So this is this is working today on Rockchip. Oh yeah, it's already. So all Rockchip device can support it. Uh, for the dongle, I think the receive side. Yeah. Because for the transmit side, it's a need to upgrade all the full four dot two. Any four dot two can do it. Every uh, four point two. Right. Four point two. Four point two. Android device 4.2. Right. Yeah. Yeah. If you have this uh, companion device like nice. like the dongle we have here. So, so can you show something? So you see here. Uh, basically, well, the network connection is not that good, but if you see, it will change like the the mirror curve. Nice. So, so if I put on a camera. That's a good reason to get a HDMI dongle, no? Yeah, then right. you can add Miracast to your Miracast, TV. Right. All right. So if I like get one, I can point at you. Uh, <laughs> there it is. So. Um, All right. So what do you think is going to happen with Android Five? Can you say? I think Android Five might uh, well. Go for the hybrid, you know, the notebook, and maybe there's a final fight between the Android and then get into the enterprise. Uh, that's what I Compete see. With Windows? Uh, probably. Probably? That's cool. That's yeah, really we'll cool. see. We'll see. Nice. <laughs> yeah. All right.